All right, guys, take a look at this. All right, now look at this. Oh, will you toss me a drink? Oh, sure thing, yeah. There you go. All right, one more time. Check out this. So there's something wrong with all of that. Now look at this. You see that? It's the same thing wrong. He's turning around backwards. I mean, look at this guy. What is he even doing? Is he? Uh... Nope, nope, cut it out. Get rid of it. Nope. How's it going guys? This week's video is on the X step. The X step is easily the number one mistake that I see beginners make. And I think it's because most people just don't understand what the X step is for. The X step has two purposes, to keep you moving sideways at the target and to keep you balanced. At no point should you be turning around away from the target. If you watch someone like Devin Owens throw, he doesn't even cross his feet. He just keeps his feet sideways and does a little bit of a crow hop, but that keeps him moving towards the target and keeps him balanced. So it works for him and he throws it way farther than I do. So let's tackle the first purpose of the X step. To keep yourself moving sideways at the target, you have to keep your feet sideways. Like, um, I guess this is really the best analogy I could think of. Like you're riding a skateboard at the target. Like some sort of goofy foot weirdo, I don't know. Anyway. The two most common ways people mess this up are either going too fast or turning around backwards. If you're carrying too much momentum or too much speed into the shot, chances are you're gonna turn around backwards just so you can catch yourself and not fall over. So just slow down and focus on keeping your feet sideways. Remember, the more momentum you have coming into the shot, the harder it is to time the other parts too. So this is good for other things and not just footwork. And the second purpose is turning your feet around backwards. Lots of people seem to think this is what the X step is for. Actually, the purpose of the X step is to set your left foot in the correct position while maintaining a tiny bit of momentum. Little, tiny bit. So to fix this, you wanna shrink your X step way, way down and make sure you're setting down your left foot on the right spot. If you focus on this and focus on keeping your feet sideways, you will be moving sideways at the target. So onto the second part of the X step. We can't really do anything when we're off balance, so why would you try and throw a disc? So the key is to make sure at no point in your shot are you off balance. So the easiest way to do this is to start by shifting your weight over your toes. If you do this, you're naturally in a little bit more of an athletic position. And as you do your X step, you can try keeping your left heel off the ground. This will give you a good idea for shifting your weight forward. You also, like before, you wanna slow down and you wanna practice in slow motion so you can feel any places where you're gonna to tend to lose that balance. So that's it. If you've always thrown standstill and you need to learn how to X-step, now you know. And if you've been X-stepping incorrectly before, like almost everybody, now you know how to fix it. Now you know how to do it correctly. The disc I'm gonna highlight this week is the Dynamic Disc Escape. This disc is one of the favorites in my bag. It goes forever in a tailwind. It's one of those discs that doesn't take a lot of power to throw. I accidentally throw it way too far every time. It's really great in the woods because it holds a really straight line. It's got tons of glide. If you're, if you're that arm speed where you don't quite have the power to throw a distance driver, but you want to get comparable distance, you can throw the escape. It goes almost, almost as far. So that's what I've got for you this week, guys. Check out Facebook if you're on YouTube or check out YouTube if you're on Facebook and I will, uh, I'll see you all next week. I forgot. I forgot to say it. Slow is smooth and smooth is far.